107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. I know you got that perfect twenty twenty, baby. No need for them glasses or them contacts. <laughs> so tell me why, tell me why. I actually met Neo by chance. Um, I didn't know the day that I met him that I was going to meet him. I wasn't auditioning or, you know, sending my demo in for anybody. I actually used to do a ton of demos. I'm from LA. I used to do a lot of demos and uh sing background for a ton of artists like Brandy, Keisha Cole, Carrie Hilson. I worked with Rodney Jerkins, Sam Waters, uh, Ryan Tedder, just a ton of different writers and producers in LA. And a producer that I used to do demos for called me one night and it was like 10.30 at night. And he's like, can you please come in and do this demo? I think you would be great on it. And I'm like, it's 10.30, I'm just leaving the session. Can we do it tomorrow in the morning? He's like, the writer won't be here tomorrow. So I'm like, all right, I'll go. So I go to the studio. And lo and behold, Neo is the writer, and he didn't even tell me. Was I ever an option? On the phone, talking to a clock in the morning. You're asking me to fix what's broken. Open up my heart, and then you stole it. Those random times that cross your mind. Do I give you butterflies? Cause I get chills. Every time I chill with ya. Cause I'm not your best friend. Nah. I've been sitting on this bench too long while you're playing with these basic fake chicks mm. And come complaining when it all goes wrong If you open your eyes, give sense of the try I'll be all you need and more than best friend Describe to us your sound my sound would have to be, um, my first album I, I would say would have to be just that old school feel good R&B. I feel like that lane is open and we're missing that. I think people need that. And um, I just know that when I hear songs that I can connect to and I feel like they're telling my story, I want to hear them over and over again. So that's definitely, you know, what we're doing with this album right now. Um, just making good, feel good R&B, you know, like what's the 411 Mary J. Blige? I feel like she opened the doors for so many female artists. Um, now, uh, Brandy, Aretha Franklin, Anita Baker, I play the piano as well, Johnny Guitar Watson, just a ton of different inspirations that I pull from to bring together and make me. Okay, so you just dropped your visual for Better Be Good with Wale. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that concept, the video, how, you know, what is the song about? Better Be Good featuring Wale. Pretty self-explanatory, but the whole concept of the video is like this. Typical girls hanging out, me and my girls, we chilling at home. I'm having some issues with my, my boo. He's not calling me back. He's standing me up when we have dates and all that good stuff. And so my girls know it. They see me suffering, but I want to keep working on the relationship. Of course, we all, women, we all want to keep working on the relationship. So um, he, they want to take, my friends, my girls want to take me to a party. And I'm like, no, my boo wants to take me out to dinner. We're going to go hang out. We're going to chill. We're going to work our relationship. And they're like, he's whack. Leave him alone. Let's go to this party. Let's just have a good time. You know he's going to cause you problems. So I'm like, nah, of course, in the middle of this conversation with my girls, I'm, you know, I have his back. He calls me and tells me that he has to work longer. He can't come hang out with me. So my girls are like, forget him. We're going to the party. We go to the party, we're about to have a good time. Walk in the kitchen of the party and who is in the kitchen with another girl? My boo. Not okay. So the rest of the video is just basically us having a good time and me telling him, you know, I'm done with you. I'm not dealing with you anymore. And if, if you want to be with me and tell every other guy, if you want to be with me, you got to treat me right. You got to you better be good to me. So basically my whole movement is just about, you know, trying to bring women together because we're emotional creatures and we love so hard and we want guys to love us and we want to give them everything. But we have to remember our self value and our self worth and remember that we have to love ourselves first. So that's my whole movement and that's why Better Be Good was the first single. Maybe 20 years from now, what do you want your legacy to be and how do you want to be remembered by it? I just want to be remembered um, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, even tomorrow. Just I want to, I want to touch hearts. I want to use music. I feel like everybody's given a gift and a talent to do something with it. Um, I want to use music to touch people, but also use that to build on. So I, if I can, you know, form nonprofit organizations to help people, or I love kids, and just 
to do whatever I can do to touch people. I don't want to put a limit on myself. I'm not going to say in five years I plan on being here. I plan on being wherever God wants me to be, wherever he leads me. So I'm just following the footsteps that I know are right. And I'm using my music to do. Whoa, oh, 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 oh